How's everybody doing? Okay? That's the supper. Because it's Friday, huh? How many of you are just sick of your work? I am. Gee. Uh -huh. Got that got a cheer right here in the front row. I bet you guys were here first, too. Well, good evening. My name is Teresa Chuiwa. You guys know me, right? Who doesn't know me? Come up here on stage, have a seat. We'll get to know each other. I'm like, what are these chairs for? Oh, if you guys want to sit down, you get chairs, you can sit down. I said, I know we're big. We need one chair for each cheek or what? There's only three of us that are coming up. So it's good to be here. Uh, they were talking about stories. And uh, I just had us, that was a good story she told. You know, um, I have crazy cousins here in Santa Rosa. And uh, I'm from Covered Wells. Woohoo! Anybody from Covered Wells? Hey, check them out. Yeah. Dang. I paid him five bucks to, to do that, to make all that noise for Covered Wells. All right. You have to make sure I pay him. Anyway, uh, <laughs> my cousin uh, was here. We were talking one time, and we were, she's so cool. She's the nicest lady. And I was telling her how autumn, how we, we just make. We just make things into autumn, right? Like, you know, uh, my ball box, when, you know, when she was alive, my ball box. When I started having kids, then she would be their week or right? She's her week or and Of course, my mother would say, how old um, your your week or Just like, you know, you make it kind of cute, right? So I said, I tell my kids, yeah, that's my ball box, but she's your wiggly. She's your wiggly. They go, oh, she's so, there's my wiggly, and they call her wiggly. So I was telling my cousin the story, and she was laughing, she was laughing, and she goes, yeah, like, oh, those kids. She goes, my nephew's kids, we were at the house, we were, uh, they're having a party, and we're, like, standing around, and the kids were like, hey, hey, and they're trying to get her attention. And she looked at them, and she goes, I'm not hey, I'm your wasp ox. And they go, oh, she goes, so call me wasp ox, don't call me hey. Those kids said, okay. And I guess they wanted a ride. They wanted her to give, her, give them a ride somewhere. So they're like, hey, what's good ox? <laughs> and she said it was the funniest thing and it made me laugh. So I was telling her about Wiggly, no, my Bob Box, that the kids call her Wiggly. She goes, E, over here, the kids just call their Wiggly Wigs. That's my Wigs. So, ah, how cool. So if that's you, some of your cousins out there, you know who I'm talking about. I just love that stuff, you know, like um, my son, his name is uh, Roberto. A lot of you guys know him as Bobby on Facebook. He's awesome. And uh, what you don't know is he was a premature baby. He was tiny. He was four pounds. And I'm still carrying that baby fat from when I was pregnant with him. He was tiny and he was just little. He was just all hairy and scary looking. And um, my mom and dad used to come to the elder center to, to eat, you know, and have activities. So it was my dad's birthday and I brought, I brought a cake. So my mom was all excited to show off her grandson. She had a pillow, she's up awake already on the pillow. She was walking in with, the, you know, with my son. And all oh, the awk in the, you know, in the, in the, oh, I see too much, oh, I see too much, I see They're all excited for the baby. And my mother was so proud, she goes, Bochugi Roberto. Because that's his name, it's Roberto. And all the little ox said, Ah, oh, Shawirto. <laughs> so that night, my son became Shawirto. And it's so cute because it's like, Shaisi Autumn, hey. Ali Autumn Kuri, Ka Masma, Dush Autumn Kuri. Anyway, so we all have all of that. Me, they call me. Teresa or Payaso or whatever they call me, it's all right, it's all right. So uh, when I go out on stage, usually it's like they call me your girl, right? It's cute, chubby, brown girl. It really means fat girl, but you know, that's kind of mean. So I have self-esteem issues. So I, I chose ch <laughs> cute, chubby, brown girl. <laughs> and in Navajo, are there any Navajos here? Because they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's a Navajo. I was in this room full of Yaquis one time. I said, there any Navajos there? There was one there. They're just everywhere. But in Navajo, Shagirl means my girl. Did you know that? That's why they say Shabuddy. Shabay. 
Shema, right? Did I say that real good? Hey. And uh, so I always tell the Navajos, I said, yeah, I'll be your girl. Hey. I may be easy, but I'm not cheap. <laughs> oh, I've had a lot of fun doing this stuff. So anyway, um, we were in um, Tucson one time, and uh, there was a show with Drula Kappa, and we were asking for people to come up and tell jokes, and that's how I got started. I came up and I just told a joke, and I want $75. I was like, dang, $75! And tonight, they're gonna pay me in Indian tacos, and I'm happy, you know? Real sure girl, you know, just, we'll feed you. Okay, I'll be there. Just put me in the front of the line, you know, I'll be there. <laughs> so, uh, it was so funny. We had this, I was listening to people tell jokes, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go tell a joke. So I got in line, and believe me, I was broke. Like, I didn't have no job, I didn't, I didn't have no car. I just hitched a ride over there, and somebody bought me a ticket for the show, and that's how I got there. I got in line and it was my turn and I told this joke. It's my brother's joke, but I told it. So there was a Simuj Gogoks in this village, right? All the autumn gogoks are on this side and all the Mirgan gogoks are on this side, the non-native dogs. And a car came and all the dogs jumped up. And they chased the car, you know how the dogs do, right? And there was a dog, the autumn dog, he was the fastest autumn dog, his name was Husi. Tracy Samurdak, he the got Tracy, who he the mangy mumki, and she ran, ran, ran. He was the first one up there. All the dogs gave up, and there's Husi way over there. And Husi turned around, and he's breathing all hard, his tongue's all hanging out. And the this Miragan Gox was with him, and his name was Todd. He was redheaded and freckles, you know. And he says, "Hey, Husi," he says, "You, you autumn dogs, you don't do it right." And who sees a real autumn dog? And he says, huh? He says, you autumn dogs, you chase those cars and you say, rough, rough, rough. You're supposed to say, bow wow. <laughs> and who he said, bow wow? He says, yeah, bow wow. She says, yeah, you autumn dogs, You're, you don't do it right. And who he just, he didn't care. He ran back and he went to his little autumn dog friends and all the dogs were there and they're saying, hey, shrokai, just kai, just kai, chicken, murdakam, goks, shrokai, chicken. Uh, uh, Todd. What did Todd say? What did Todd say? Oh, well, guys, we say, rough, rough, rough. Oh, that jumba, wow. Yeah, you autumn dogs, you don't do it right. And who's he just laughing and they're cracking up about Todd. Here comes a car. 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 And all the dogs jump up and they start chasing that car and they're running and they're running. And who's he's in the front? Who's he's in the front? He's running. He's saying, bow, wow, bow, wow. Here comes a car. Here comes a car. And all the autumn dogs are like, eee, what's wrong with Hoosey? And Hoosey's raising, ba wow, ba wow. And Hoosey, they go, God, we have to take him to a maca, a kordanima, because something's wrong with Hoosey. And Hoosey's running, ba wow, ba wow. Then he turns around and he goes, mwee. <laughs> and girls and boys, that's how it all started. <laughs> and it was so funny because, because uh, that's how we are, huh? We're all about noises sometimes. If I go to Apache country and I tell that joke, Joe turns around, the dog Joey turns around, he goes, K, yeah. <laughs> and they get it, you know, they get it. But it's real funny. Okay. Just save my Indian taco, just put it over there. <laughs> okay. So we got a really nice show for you tonight. We have a few people coming up. And uh, how many of you work for the BIA? Anybody work for the BIA? Right? Nobody wants to admit it. They just look around. Well, the hospital, the tribe's taking over the hospital. The tribe's taking over the schools. There's not going to be no BIA anymore. Hey, just kidding. Uh, there's a story I heard. It's so cute. This guy's were um, working for the BIA. He was out. He's going to survey the, the land. He's going to survey land. And he goes to this little rancher man, little native guy. He shows him his card. He says, I work for the BIA. And I'm going to look at your land, I'm going to look around and see this card, I can go anywhere on your land, you know, where I want to go. The little native guy says, okay, but don't go over there, don't go in that pasture over there. And that guy was just real like, all cocky and all, to be smart. And he says, you see this card? He says, I can go anywhere I want. 
And the little autumn man said, okay. So he goes and he goes and he's looking around. He goes in this pasture. All of a sudden you hear him yelling. He's yelling, screaming, help, help. And the little autumn man's looking and there's a Thardo chasing him. Big Thardo chasing him. And he's looking over there. I mean, not who's the thing. The little autumn man's looking at him and he's saying, help me, help me. And then he, he sees what's going on and he goes, show him your card, show him your card. <laughs> I just really love that one. And uh, how many babies? We see babies here. We go to well child, right? Hey, these guys are being each other's baby. I'll raise my hand for you and you raise your hand for me. <laughs> You take your baby to the well child clinic, right? Take your baby. What do they do? They weigh, measure, make sure the baby's growing right, put it on the chart. So lady took her baby, they weighed him, measured him, measured his head, his chest, everything. And the man says, is this baby breastfed or bottle fed? Right, because we're all breastfed, right? How about, who was breastfed? I was, I have a picture to prove it. Just me and the one girl way in the back. Liars. I know you men are breastfed because when you get nervous, you go. When you see a picture of Dolly Parton, you. So she says, doctor, he's breastfed. He says, okay, well take off your shirt and take off your bra. So she does. and. He's there and he's squeezing and he's pulling and he's trying to... He said, no wonder this baby is underweight. You don't have any milk. And she goes, doctor, I'm his grandma, but I'm glad I came. Oh man, the kids are laughing at that more than the adults. Because he's thinking, my grandma would so do that.